knew you would come below the cage, down to where I am. Maybe you saw the letters I scratched on the villa walls. A little farther. Follow my voice. That's it. The one in the cage? Dog. I had to lock him up. He keeps... disobeying me. expecting. I'm disappointed. Still, even if you're... aren't my intended guest, you take direction. Good. You can't have been an idiot to figure out how to release me from my cage. Or perhaps you are, with that leash on your arm and the one around your neck. With our collars and manacles, why, we may as well be kin. The carving's a reminder for mirrors and for dog. Dog, who you heard coming in, howling and hungry, as always. I've been trapped in here for some time. Then you come along and let me out. So, you opened my cage for a reason. Now, I want to know why. Trauma. Yes, in a manner of speaking. Do you see these wounds of his covering his skin? The bear trap on his arm. He placed his own hand in it. The name he carved in his chest. 
To remind him of who he is, he inflicts pain on himself to silence me when all I try to do... <sighs> he cuts, hurts, and tries to murder me out of him. He won't succeed, just makes me angrier. Dog is the beast. We simply change cages, like the ones here. It's close. Closer than I'd like. Dog's been into things, needs to think before he eats, chew before he swallows. He's eager that way. Now the collar's a part of me, inside. I can feel its electronic heartbeat clicking and burning down below, like before. It was cold and heavy before going in the cage. Now you're here, and it's pulling and kicking again, tugging like a leash. Interesting. They detach. When segmented, they look like nothing more than metallic rad scorpions. And if they're attached to neck flesh, warm, red, Dog doesn't care what's on the body he's crushing in his hands. He'll mangle it, twist it, make it fit until he's full. Dog can't help himself. Hungry, greedy. And now the collar's inside, alive again. And we're trapped here until it goes cold. Really? Yet it led you here, to me. And now you're here, and it's burning a hole in my guts. Maybe it's crying for its owner. As if I had a choice. Sometimes instinct takes over, and that's when I go into the cage. It's like curiosity that way. After all, you wouldn't have put that collar on by choice. Perhaps it was your curiosity that caused that hand to close on your neck. Of course you do. And so do I. The key? Why, it's the old man, the one who brought us here. I hid the key on me so Dog wouldn't know. I just need the old man to show up so he and I can talk. If Dog was in control when the old man appeared, well, he would just do whatever he commanded, as always. And I can't have that. Dog obeys, yes. Why? Do you have some means of contacting the old man? You don't play it. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage and you. I'll murder you, crush your arms and legs until... No, you wouldn't. If you did, you won't escape this place alive. I'd shatter every one of your limbs to splinters and leave you here. You think I'm afraid of your collar exploding, killing us? No. I'll leave you breathing, then keep walking until my collar goes cold. I'll prop your broken body in view of the Sierra Madre so you can see what you came to steal forever out of reach as you die. Prove it. How? Words are worthless. Hmm. 
No. No, you're not. Even though dogs more docile, easier to control. You may regret this. This place. This place is where creatures like dog can survive. The people that fill its streets. He is as vicious, more vicious than them. His hunger can help you more than I can. When I am in control, this shell is difficult to... fight in. The inhabitants of the villa, they are difficult to kill. They need to be chopped apart, hacked on the ground, disintegrated if you can. They are difficult to kill, but not to devour. And Dog is always hungry. If he is with you when they fall, he will fall on them, end them. If I am with you, fighting will be far more difficult. <laughs> I am not sure you belong here. No, you don't belong here. Yet, you came this far. And I'm not interested in remaining here any longer. I'll unlock the cage. Very well. Lead on. Whatever you're... Good. If it isn't the clever one. What do you want? I'm sure you do. All it takes is the right... command. Whenever Dog hears the... his master giving orders, I go back in the cage. So that leash on your wrist, and the one on your neck. I won't truly be free to express myself until every trace of that voice is destroyed. Still, if you ever want to speak to me, bark my audio log at him, the one in the police station. That'll call me out. Dog is afraid of me as long as the Master isn't around. The Master, Elijah, reminds Dog of someone from long ago. His leader, commander, commanders. The Master was a strong personality. Personalities as well. Dog is slavish, was conditioned to serve the Master until death. The old man, Elijah, merely came along and opened that door in Dog's mind. Now Dog does whatever the old man wants. Mad? Mad doesn't even begin to describe. There's not a word for the hate I feel inside. It's consuming, twists every thought to red. After all that's laid ruin to the world, again and again, I thought at last we could be free. Thought Dog could be free. No. No, the world's always got another cage, waiting, keeping everything you want just out of reach. Gather others, drag them here. Fetch, like an animal and hurt them if they resist. Dog doesn't even blink. Even hear their cries when he's twisted their arms full circle. Fragile things, screaming on the ground. To listen to him, commanding Dog to hurt others. And Dog just nods, eager and willing to serve. Do anything? Me? Me, Dog puts in the cage, hurts himself to try and drown out my voice, when all I want to do... 
Never mind. Useless. Finally had to start fighting back. Screaming on my own. Had to take matters into my own hands. Lock dog up. I've watched over dog for so long. Tried to stop him from hurting others, killing others. Quiet that mindless, howling instinct of his. He doesn't understand. He has the brain of a child. He knows when he does wrong. He just can't help himself. He's my brother, Kin. Without him, I wouldn't exist. Maybe I was nothing more than his conscience, trying to rein him in. Useless. I... I just need him to show restraint. Let go of the needs, the hungers. Ease the burden. Just once, so I can have my thoughts to myself. The instinct is stronger than me. Dog is stronger than me. He's just a child. He knows when he does wrong. He just can't help himself. I don't know when I first spoke, or when I first started thinking for myself. It was so long ago. I slept for a long time. Before, I want to believe I was the one in control once. I don't know anymore. Then Dog got a new master, a new voice. And I woke up to protect him. More. Don't push your luck. Don't play stupid. I already have to mind one child. You must have figured it out by now. The old man obsessed with the Sierra Madre? Riddled with greed. Hoped you might be him when I woke up. All you are is his hand. You're the same kind of greed. Followed the radio, the broadcast, and now you're here, all confused. Not for long. You'll figure it out. You're not him any more than I'm Dog. But that collar around your neck... You're an extension of the old man's grasp. Clumsy, perhaps, but a tool, yes. And once you get acclimated to the Sierra Madre, then you'll feel the same overpowering hunger the old man does. And then you'll be him, not just his hand. Elijah. Human. Weak like all of you are. Feeling age circling him like starved dogs, howling for blood. To me, he reeks of age and failure. And madness. To me, he is simply the old man. To dog, he is master. His name, meaningless. Running out of years, hopes and dreams running through his withered hands like sand from the big empty and scorched by the sun. The old man, this Elijah, tried to hold the sun in his hands. Arrogance was cast down for it. Icarus' crime was to fly too high. Elijah, Elijah wanted to bring the sun down to him. <laughs> Arrogance. Heard the call of the Sierra Madre, just like you did. Exactly the same way. Finds out it's more than a story. Comes to this shining, poisonous grail. This jewel of the desert. Dog knows him more than I do. Dog's always nodding, always obeying him. Because he's weak and hungry and greedy for Master's affection. Of course I know. Even if I don't see it happen. Down in the cage, I hear echoes of the footfalls, the click of the collars. Every time I see one of you, I know exactly how you got here. 
You couldn't help yourselves any more than Dog can help himself. You heard the voice, the promise, and then you walked right into one of the old man's traps. Then, then Dog comes for you, drags you here. Me? You think I want to haul bodies around the wastes like a Brahmin at the whip? No. Dog does it. When the old man says fetch, Dog fetches. You were in a man trap, and Dog made his rounds and dragged you here. When, I don't know. But it must have been recent. Before the cage. I don't remember you. That isn't surprising. What is, is that it was when Dog was out of his cage. Free. Hungry. He knows not to eat anything he catches in the traps. After that, however, so he dragged you here. You got spared. Dog must have fed after you arrived. Once he was fed, that allowed me out of the cage and put him inside. Do you remember how long you were out? Must have already been in the cage. Already had the collar in me. You're lucky Dog didn't devour you. Otherwise, we'd be closer than we are now. More. Don't push your luck. Don't play stupid. I already have to mind one child. You might... The old man obsessed with the Sierra Madre, riddled with greed. Hoped you might be him when I woke up. All you are is his hand. You're the same kind of greed. Followed the radio, the broadcast. Heard the call of the Sierra Madre, just like you did. Exactly the same way. Finds out it's more than a story. Comes to this shining, poisonous grail. This jewel of the desert. Dog knows him more than I do. Dog's always nodding, always obeying him. Because he's weak and hungry and greedy for Master's affection. We'll see.
right behind you. Followed his collar. Trying to lose me in the cloud? Not a chance. Followed his collar.
followed his collar. Trying to lose me in the cloud? Not a chance. Followed his collar. Wish I had a stealth boy instead of this bear trap. Those machines feed on Sierra Madre chips. There's codes that unlock other things, too. <laughs> 